So talking about money many times can be taboo. And even more times, we don't want to share exactly where we are with our finances and the decisions that we've made with our money. However, today I have with me someone, Danny Podboy, who is the perfect person to have all those conversations with. Thank you for being here today, no, Danny. No, thank you for having me. I love it. So I am Kettier Bay with Simply M The Movement, owner and founder. I am so happy to be here to discuss this with you because I find that our long-term goals, for example, like retirement, we don't actively work on them because they just seem so far away. Or maybe we think we're so behind the eight ball that it doesn't even matter to get started. So we're just going to crush all of those myths today. Let's right, Danny? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> so, so Danny, um, I always love to hear and share with everyone the journey about how you came to this moment where you're helping folks with their finances. Can you share that with us? Yes. I, um, you know, years ago I was, you know, I didn't see myself in this industry necessarily. I was just, you know, young guy, just wanted to get ahead in life. And I found myself trying to figure out what I was going to do. I had taken a corporate job out of college. I was unhappy from day one. And I knew I wanted to pave my own way through it. And so I, I started looking. I just got blessed to find the right mentor who happened to be in, in this industry. And I sat down with him. And when I learned what I learned about money, um, literally, Kelly, I learned in 20 minutes what I didn't learn in four years in college about money. Right. Uh, so I got excited about kind of not just in taking this information, but putting it out there. Sure. And so in that process, I just quickly got started uh, wanting to learn more and more about this business. And the audience is what really, really, really intrigued me about getting out there. It wasn't finance. It wasn't the numbers. It was about helping people that I knew were not getting this information out there about investing and about debt and about all these things. So I really, really wanted to take part in something that would bring this out there to the public. Yeah, for sure. I yeah, hear that. Yeah. So one of the things that I've noticed is like there's a lot, you know, there's like Dave, Dave Ramsey, yeah. Susie Orman, Ramit Seth, and they have great content books, you yes. know, podcasts, yes. what have you, shows. Yes. And even I watch them and I get excited. I'm like, oh, I just learned something new. But here's the thing, the application of it and not getting lost then and trying to apply it yourself, yes. right? Because like yes. you can buy the journal and then you're just like, oh my God, no, I'm confused again. So that's where someone like you steps in. You're yes. actually an actual financial coach. You're like real, you're yes, here, I can touch exactly. you, I, yes. can, I can ask you questions, yes. you're live. Yes. And you really can't beat that. Right, absolutely, you can't. It's, it's one of those things that... You're right. A lot of people have the concept. They tell me they've they've seen the books or they, they, they've read the books. They've seen the, the shows. But yes, the application of it is a completely different story. That's why to me, it's an open door policy. I give them a plan. And then, you know, I tell them, listen, this is like a doctor visit, right? What do you do? Does your doctor call you or do you call your doctor? Yeah. And they're like, no, I call my doctor once a year for a checkup. I'm like, do the same thing with me. Exactly. And so, you know, that way they can continue to have that accountability so to speak to have somebody help them exactly mm -hmm. um the other thing too that i like i mentioned it in the introduction and i was actually in this position yeah. myself which is that maybe you got started well you know what let me backtrack a lot of us when we w went to college first thing i saw wasn't like the classroom or the people that would or my professor i saw the credit card people with all their tents i'm gonna call them the credit card people yes, <laughs> with yes. all their tents you know, just calling my name, right? So anyways, we get started and you start to make these decisions in life and you don't really pick up on the cues. And then when you realize, wait a minute, I'm not really planning for retirement or I'm not really saving. And then you're at a certain age, even I've heard people that are in their thirties and think, oh my God, I missed, I missed, I missed the bus. The yes. I missed the bus. Absolutely. And that's not true, right? Not true at all. Not true at all. I always say it's never too late to start, but obviously, you know, it, you're at more of a disadvantage the later you get ahead. I wouldn't say 30s, you're at a way disadvantage. But if you're like in your 50s and you haven't done anything, sure, but it doesn't mean you, you shouldn't start because obviously any, it's never too late to start. But, but yes, one of the things that I wish they taught this in college, I've had the opportunity a couple of times to go to like, you know, Miami-Dade, and different places where, you know, you try to get this and inject this information into the youth. I remember just like you, 
I remember going to college yeah. and I got my first card given to me, my credit card. I'm like, I had no clue, Caddy. I mean, back then I was completely ignorant. I'm like, so I can spend 500 bucks and then all I got to pay them back is 20, you know, <laughs> and it was, it was one of these things that, you know, they don't teach us these things. So yeah, one of the things that I teach is once, unfortunately, a lot of times I get to people where they're already in that mess, right? They got all these credit cards already, but you just teach them how to pay it down and then... I obviously teach them what the credit card companies do to kind of get them in that debt and how to keep them in there. So if you can kind of crack the code and tell them how to go against it, usually they can get out of it and hopefully stay out of it. Yeah. You know? So when someone is, has that aha moment or the curiosity mm -hmm. or just like, you know what, L let me really look at this. Because that's another yeah. thing. It's like out of sight, out of mind. Yes. You're like, I don't want to even look at it. And even much less talk to someone and spill the beans yeah. and show all your stuff, <laughs> put it all out there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You know, yes. it's kind of like when the doctor one. asks yes. you, like, how much do you, you know, how often do you drink alcohol? Well, like, yeah, what do you really On occasion, <laughs> I use on occasion. Yeah, you want to look good. Yes. You want to, and, and the idea is the doctor's like, no, I want you to tell me the truth because yes. that's how we can help. Yes. So if someone has, how, how do you start with them? What would you be doing with them first? So the first thing I do is, is I give an education session right? I don't ask them for their numbers. I don't ask them anything about them. And I believe that when you give them that education, that's when they, they, they get that aha moment, like, oh my gosh, nobody's ever taught me this. And so it's something that they have to make an internal decision going, this is my opportunity to bring up and spill the beans, so to speak, yeah. and say what I have, because what other chance am I going to get at it? So I do ask probing questions, but I mean, obviously, it's up to them for them to open up, but I, I make it educational. And then after the educational session, I'll ask some questions. How are they doing with their debt? Blah, blah, blah. And then from that point forward, they usually open up. I don't have a lot of people who kind of feel like they right. need to, you know, if I guess if their pride gets in the way and they really, really don't want to, then that's on them. But, right. but most of the time, I'd say 95 out of 100 times, they're going to, you know, just say, Here's what I got. Exactly. Help me. I didn't know any better. And even if the meeting starts like this, where they have no idea why I'm there. And yeah, the body language. Crossed, yeah. It opens up a little bit into it. And then I you know start that, leaning yeah, in. Exactly. They'll lean in. It's over. Well, <laughs> I can imagine that's the case, too, because I'm sure you can see it across the screen. But one of the things, yeah. one of my favorite things about you is your smile. You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> He's got some great my, pearly whites. My wife says she would not have married me since she didn't see me smile. Exactly. So. <laughs> no, but you do. And you like exude like this, Thank just you. this joy. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> but and so, so you're approachable, you're relatable. But on top of that, a lot of times we think, well, I can't have a financial advisor, financial coach, whatever you want to call it, because you're like, I don't have significant finances. But no, you help those folks yeah. that, you know, that they're not at this mile marker that most people only help, yes. right? which is fine because there's a, you know, there's a, a sphere and there's a, a place for everyone, everything. Yes. You can't service everyone. So right. you are in that awesome place, I think. Tell us about that. Yes. I mean, look, it, it, it's, it's just like, look at, look at, it happens in every field. In the automobile industry, you're either, you have the field that they're buying Lamborghinis or you're, you know, you have Toyota. So if you own a business, do you want to sell Toyotas? Do you want to sell Lamborghinis? There's nothing wrong with either one. Correct. But there is more people who can purchase Toyotas. That's the reality. So in my field, it's the same thing. What I do is there's very, very few people out there who are going to deal with people with less than 250000 or whatnot. So again, that's why that's what made me proud of service this industry. I didn't get into it for financial planning. I got into it to service the people that weren't going to get the help. Yeah. And so whether somebody's never had any money in the markets, they don't know anything, and they want to start with an IRA at, you know, $100 or $200 a month, hey, I, I can do that, Keddy, and I'll teach them. Again, that's a start for them. And if you take a 20-year-old who starts an IRA and then they put away, let's just say, $200 over the next 40 years, I mean, they're roughly going to end up with over $2 million. Sure. So... You go, well, what's $200 going to do for me? Well, you do it long enough, and it's going to be a bunch of money. So, obviously, if they start either right out of high school or right out of college, it's fantastic. If you wait a little longer, that's fine. But 
Either way, the idea is start somewhere, even if you're starting from scratch. I don't care if you're 20, 30, or 40. The idea is to get them started and get them comfortable with understanding, hey, I can build some wealth one day. Yeah. You know? and, and it's not only like getting started, getting started with someone and yes, the right person. Absolutely. Someone like you. Yes, of course. Because you have, you know, of course, we have all these apps today, Acorn and this and that. But but they don't, they just have the, the, the apps, but they don't know how to use it. They don't understand investing. Yeah. So the idea is to, yeah, get it somewhere where somebody can teach you long-term investing, you know, dollar cost averaging, all those terms that we can get into with them. And then just teach them how to, you know, hey, this is what you want the money for. Don't pull it out for just any reason. It's not a savings account. It's for your future. Leave it alone. And so just kind of getting them the right mindset. I think Setting people up with the right mindset is just as important because nobody's ever taught them anything about anything. What they observed from their parents was probably behaviors that don't serve them today. Right? Yeah. Their parents were just doing the best thing. They came from another country in a lot of cases. They were just trying to get ahead in this world. Well, that doesn't mean that that's how you need to carry it on. But most times the programming that goes on in their minds they just do exactly what they observe their whole life. Exactly. So you're almost re reprogramming, Ketty, on helping them just look at things in a different way. Yes, so true. Sense. One complete sense. One of my favorite um, motivational speakers, his name is Ed Millett. He says, Ed Millett, yeah, yeah, he says, things aren't taught, they're caught. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I always say, yeah. more. I tell everybody, more is caught than taught, right? Yeah. And, and my son now is working with me. It's funny you're saying that because oh, nice. I never saw him in this industry, I just, I never thought he was listening. And now he started working with me, he just got his license and he's out there talking, Ketty, and I feel like it's a mini me. And oh my I'm God. like, and so, and then I kept remembering Morris Cotton Top, Morris Cotton Top. Yeah. So I, I, it's so funny you say that because it's so true. Yeah. It's so true. It really it, is. Yes. It really is. So, and I don't want to like harp on this so much, but I kind of do because I'm going to give like a, a two examples, okay. right? So one time I went to a, a seminar or whatever. It was like a motivational seminar and they gave us like a piece of paper and it had X amount of lines, which represented average lifespan, like 80 okay. years. So wherever you were at in your life, you had to like fill in the lines, shade them. And that would sh visually show you how much you had taken up of that. Yeah. So it's one thing to say I'm 46, right? 46. Okay. But it was another thing to see it. And I was yes. like, oh, you You're see like, what you have left in, right. You see what's left in white, <laughs> yes. which is what you were saying about the $200. When yes. you, and I know that you show graphics, you show how it works. And what's seen is believing Absolutely. to that because I caught the $2 million, but I, even I said, sure. But then I was like, no, wait a minute. That's, that's not just sure. That's yes. like, whoa. Yes. But yes. when you show it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. When they see it on paper, it, it, it becomes a reality. Like, like a lot of times, obviously, the reality is like, wow, I have a lot of work to do. I'm like, well, but let's get started. And I always say, Rome wasn't built in one day. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, you might have to save for, to hit your goals this much. But you know what? Let's start here. And then the idea is just getting them at least started. And getting confident that this is doable. Exactly. We can do this. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Exactly. And then the last thing that I'll share, just again, a different example, but the same concept. When I started Simply on the Movement, I have all the virtual equipment to do virtual classes, right? But for me, the technical part of how do I make sure that the music and the audio and my voice mm -hmm. comes across right? So I watched YouTube videos, not to say they weren't helpful, but then I was like, I do the what with the what and then the what and go back. And see, that didn't work for me. Right. I found someone who's an expert in that, who who, yes. who who was could come and see me and help me and do it. And I'm like, yes. And now I know how to work the equipment. But for me, that made all the difference, which yes. would be the same for someone same. wanting to get their finances on yes. track. Same exact thing, because I obviously I I set up the accounts, you know, and, and it just goes on autopilot. Right. Mm -hmm. However, yeah, I'm there anytime they need me. I'm just like, look, you know. Just reach out to me on anything, you know. And like I said, you should call me once a year. But if you feel like nothing's changed and you, then maybe leave it out to every couple of years. But the idea is I want to educate them. That's why hard times come. And when hard times come in the economy, right, and the stock market might be down, I feel like if I educated right in the first, in, in the first place, they're not going to all call and go, oh, I'm scared of what's happening. Right, let I'm me pull my money because I educated them and let them know, hey, listen, there's going to be ups and there's downs, and this is why it's good for you when it's down and why it's great for you when it's up. And, and like sit and tight. So, exactly. <laughs> so I, I kind of teach them through that. Uh, obviously, they don't all remember when times are rough, right? But 
But most times than not, I, I, I can't say so many people defect uh, when, when the markets are down. That kind of tells me that they learned something when they sat with me initially. Right. And then they have you there, too, to talk them off the ledge if that's uh, the case. Totally. And, and just reevaluate. Absolutely. Yeah, it happens all the time. I just get back in there. I hold their hand. You yeah. Know, I have people call me all the time. What's going on with the markets? I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. And then just, like you said, talk them off the ledge and get them to understand what's going on. Yes. You know, we have enough history in our country to know that everything that we're seeing, bad or good in the economy, we've seen before. Yeah. And so that kind of helps people just, oh, okay, so we this has happened. I'm like, this has happened before. Exactly. And so then they feel more at ease but yes. just having that somebody in this case myself be the other person in the other line that has more knowledge level than their buddy in their cubicle next to them at their job mm -hmm. i think it's what what really really sets us apart so to speak yeah and that's what sets you apart yeah danny's been doing this for 20 years he's helped so many people make the dream of retirement the dream of just feeling confident with your finances a reality so let the folks know and you can help people everywhere, not yeah. just here in Miami, Absolutely. so everywhere. Yes. How? What's the best way for them to, to reach you, Danny? Well, the best way, you know, I look, I'm one of these, I have a, an office line. I'd rather you call my cell phone, right? 786-663-0248. You know, text me, call me, and, and I will always be able to, there to serve you, kind of set up an appointment and, and then just education, help you get started. Or if you're already starting, you're along the way somewhere and you need that help, and you're questioning what you've done in the past, then give me a call. Awesome. Thank you, Danny. Thank All you right. so no, much. Thank I you think for this having is, me, Kenny. Yeah, important conversations. Yes. Um, as always, I do these interviews to share the amazing people that I meet along my journey that I know are passionate about helping others just create the lives that they've always dreamed of and that they deserve. So remember, stay happy, stay positive, be blessed, and be a blessing. Amen. See you soon. Take care. Thank you.